Test, 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 test. Test, test, test. Testing, audio test. Mic closer, volume down, gain down. If you're in chat, say what up. We're just doing a test. We're gonna be playing Battlefield 5 tonight. The closed alpha, the second closed alpha started today. August 14th, 2018. Just testing sound levels. Man, the gameplay is super smooth. Why can't, why can't PUBG be this smooth? Look how much detail there is. Informing you that objective and meal has been lost. Somewhere way over there. A small victory. Objective Dora is ours. Ooh. What do you mean, how am I playing? Scott, don't you know who I am? I played the first closed alpha too. I I'm playing it because EA gave me codes. Well, give me four codes. So myself, skill, lord, and stuff. So I think you've seen them all. We all played the first closed alpha together like a month or two ago. What? Oh, he's already dead. Man, it runs so smooth. It's so good, Scott. This closed alpha has the same map, same two modes, conquest and grand operations. Hey, Scott, while you're on, the reason I'm doing this is a quick test so we can play tonight, but how does the sound seem? I totally changed the audio setup um, for this mic. So I want to know if it's staticky, if it's too loud, or it's too quiet, and compared to the game sounds. And I can adjust the levels accordingly. I can also switch the mic out. I have a new mic I haven't used yet. This is like a... You've seen it before, right, Scott? Did I show you the setup? I think I did. Uh, this is a studio mic connected to a soundboard. The soundboard is connected in USB. Ma hey, Maverick. I'm just doing an audio... Uh, a test. Battlefield 5. Close to Alpha started just now again. Sounds great. Scott, uh, sorry, Maverick. What do you think of the sound, buddy? On your end. Objective Berta is now ours, soldiers. That is it. Objective Dora lost. Oh, shit. Oh! Yeah. Give me that headphone check, buddy. I was 3-0. I didn't die until you came on, Maverick. Must be a sign. I'm thinking, by the way, Maverick, uh, I mean, I can't do anything about this. Oh, shit. I'm back, baby! Oh, shit. Man, this... Woo! Double kill! What? Woohoo! Sounds fine? Alright, good. So what I did is I turned the gain down and all that kind of shit in OBS and the system. So the static's not always in the background, hopefully. And I moved the mic closer. So hopefully it doesn't pick up all the keys and shit as much. But it, hopefully my voice is clear with less background static. Have now lost I like sniping. sniping. It's not, I, sniping's pretty fun. Should we try some uh, offensive shit? How do I get to the screen? What the hell's going on? Okay. Uh -oh. Is now ours. uh oh, I think it's glitched out. We have taken objective Emil. Go to Arbeit. Uh, it's not pre orders yet. I think the pre orders get you in the beta, maybe next month. Closed Alpha is just select people to test, so it's like uh, the EA influencer team, streamers, media, and maybe certain other players that give a giveaway to. Maybe, I don't know, people who are active in Origin, I have no idea. I didn't get any to give away. I managed to get a full squad's worth, so like I said, Maverick knows, he were here. Um, So, wow. First day of the new alpha and there are already weird glitches. 
I'm surprised stuff like this happens, given that this is like the 10th game in the series on PC. Like, how is it not an instance? If I'm not actively playing, I'm not idling, I'm stuck in the screen, that's not the lobby screen. Like, shouldn't there be like a redundancies in place to prevent this from happening? Objective Emil has been lost, soldiers. I wonder if I, I don't know if I uploaded anything on YouTube. Let me check here. But if this mic doesn't work out, I may just like get rid of it all and put a USB table mic here, just to keep it simple. Uh, oh yeah, I got some. I got this, Scott. So Scott, check that, I don't know how the sound is there, but that's the last time I played. Or at least one video from it. We streamed it. Maverick, you were here. What, we did it three nights in a row, maybe? Or four nights in a row? Alright. We'll try to load up into the Grand Operation. That was Conquest. Same two modes. Conquest, Grand Operations. This game launches in October, but it's not launching with Grand Operations, the flagship mode. That'll come, I think, two weeks after launch. The beginning of November is when they launch their... Uh, well, the whole pitch with Battlefield 5 is that's going to come with a live service. Always new maps, new modes, cycling stuff in, new content, all available for free. There's no season pass or DLC bullshit like there is in Call of Duty. Um, fuck the Call of Duty season pass, by the way. But the Grand Operation launches in a Fall of Europe campaign. It's the first campaign as part of this live service, and it's great because that's this live service is going to allow them to add and test new modes, new player counts, new everything. And if they like it and people want it, they can add it to the main game as a regular thing or bring it back. So that's where the Battle Royale is going to come into play as well. We don't, There's no timing on that, but sometime post-launch, there will be a Battle Royale mode. I'm hoping they double the player count, or at least get up to 100. If it's just 64 player, oh, that'll be so fucking disappointing. Because they can do so much more. But yeah, free DLC. All free DLC, no loot boxes. Anything you can buy in-game, you can buy with in-game currencies. Uh, and then I think the, the the premium stuff afterwards you can buy like more cosmetics because there's a thing called wait it's combined arms Combined arms is a four-player co-op mode as well, which also part of the game also free content it generates uh, Objectives and narratives for you. How fucking cool is that four-player co-op mode that keeps giving you more to do and that progression is shared through all the modes um the single player, well, not, I guess, yeah, you unlock cosmetics and shit through the single player as well, and the regular PvP stuff. And now it goes into my companies. The my company screen, uh, for any of you guys who weren't following my amazing coverage on screenman.com, um, you can basically customize each of the four main classes, the medic, uh, sniper, whatever, uh, for each side of the conflict. And then, so you have eight sort of predefined characters, how they look. You can have blue face paint, mohawks, uh, cool leather jacket with custom logos and all that kind of shit. You can customize mesh layers in your tank. You can add, like, sticks and war paint and mud and all this and mesh uh like that what do you call that that tarp mesh that makes you sort of camouflage from above um you can have multiple variants of tanks you can build a tank that's that's built for jungle gameplay against infantry you can build a tank that's meant for desert gameplay against other tanks um and have all that predefined in your, in, in your my company screen same with airplanes and all the other vehicles and weapons and you oh yeah a lot of the weapons have up to seven points of customization now you can save that loadout that custom design um and earn more unlocks through, again, the free DLC and the progression systems across all three modes. It's fucking... They're doing it smart. They're, they're, they're future-proofing this like crazy. Uh, it runs super well. Once they get these bullshit glitches out of the way, which they will. This always happens. But once they get this shit done... Did I not just... Here, we'll do this again. Matchmaking's not working. I called them out on Twitter saying this shit's not working, but we'll see. Oh, by the way, guys, if you are living in North America, I put up a contest today for Maverick's favorite movie of all time. We're giving away five copies of... Actually, you can say giveaway, right? Giveaway. Does that work? Yeah, there you go. There's the link. Five copies of Avengers Infinity War on Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, Scott, I, I had fun with Battlefield 1, but I felt it was... a Even though it looked great, and I kind of like some of the maps, I felt like it was too open, too much running, and even though it was World War One, like, all the vehicles felt fast, all the weapons felt automated, it didn't feel like World War One. it felt like another World War Two game, just less impressive. And all the guns were just variants of other guns, so there was barely any weapons to play with. So I felt like all I did was snipe in Battlefield 1, I didn't feel like the classes were balanced for most of the maps. And that's kind of a fail. And, like, Battlefield 3, I think, is one of the fucking... Is the best game in the franchise, probably. Like, I played the shit out of that for like a year straight, it feels like. Every fucking night. Caspian Border, baby, the best map. And Battlefield 4, really good too. 
but not quite as good as Battlefield 3. And Battlefield 1 was, again, it was pretty good, but another step down. So I feel like it's been downtrending. Um, so I really hope Battlefield 5 just fucking lifts this shit up. They better have so uh, lots of maps, great modes, and they have to do something different. Just, like, bigger player counts. Make this a war. I mean, it's been 64 players since 2003 when Battlefield 1942 came out. So that's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in BF4 as well. Actually, Skill and I and a couple others, like, Lord, we actually played Battlefield 4 like, twice in the last month or two. Went back to it. It's still pretty fun. They could just make a Battle Royale mode using those maps, that engine, those graphics and weapons. Just make it so you you parachute in, which you can parachute. You press space bar if you're jumping, if you're falling out of a plane or some shit, or off a high cliff. Uh, and you pick up loot in mods. Like, all I have to, all I have to do. Like, like just, all you need is a small team of dice to get that done. And they can release it as a free-to-play thing with custom. How amazing would that be? Or like a $10 game. $20 game even. With everything else is monetized through cosmetics. It'd be genius. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Meanwhile, EA is paying their executives like fucking $40 million a year while shutting down and firing devs and shutting down some of the studios like Visceral. It's fucking insane. I don't understand. I should consult for them. Why is this not working? This hasn't worked once. I'll just keep trying this. Seriously. 40 million. Patrick Soderlund. They gave him a $20 million bonus last year to try to keep him around, and he leaves this year. So he made four. With stock options, he made 45 million or something. How do you make 45 million fucking. That's a million dollars a week. What could you possibly be doing at Electronic Arts to make that much money and be like, nah, I'm going to leave? What? Meanwhile, there's so many devs barely getting paid and working overnight. Like, what the fuck? Do you have any employees and studios you can fund with that much goddamn money? I'll do the job for 3% of that salary and I will make them a billion dollars more per year. Open letter to you, EA. Good show. Let's try this. Objective able taken. Going in assault. God, Scott, this game feels so fucking good. Look at this. Oh, fucking yeah, look. Look at that shit. You wish PUBG played like this. It's so good. Wait, wait. Did I... Look, look at the snow. Look at this shit. Look. Look. Amazing. You can drive a vehicle right through this fucking wall, too. Look at these guys. Look, Look at this guy. He doesn't give a shit. Whee! Look at my... Look at my footprints! Be advised. Objective Baker well has been taken. Soldiers. We've taken the objective! Ooh. We have lost Objective Dog. Thank you. I'm coming, Fram. Whoa. Ah! Ah! Get out of my house. That one's for you, Scott. Shit. Everywhere I go, I'm pulling off West Extension. Stop! Oh, man. 99? Really? Shit. Hey, everybody. If you're just joining the stream, say what up. I'm just, this is a short stream. Just doing a test. I just finished publishing stuff. By the way, Sarah Moran on Scream Rant just published a some set visit stuff. I mean, Atlanta, George. Atlanta, Georgia. She went there to visit, um... A Paramount Pictures production. Huh. A movie called What Men Want. Oh shit. Uh, do I have any grenade shit? Oh. oh, what's this? I do have a rocket. Hello! Oh. In this room? Yeah, okay, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. I know, I know. Uh, I'm gonna turn. It's because the lights on. It's right fucking above me. It's a shitty, shitty builder's roof light. I'm gonna get um, uh, an orange spotlight or something. Maybe I put like a spotlight back here. This, this, this image, you can't see this shit. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Third person. This shit back here. That's gonna go. 
We don't need that. This shelving's gonna go. So this wall, once we repaint it, I can put like a big fucking wall decal, the fail cube logo, right there. And you can put like a spotlight on it down there and just kinda shooting up to it or something. Objective so it looks orange in the background. Now ours. With a dark kind of room. Room. One second. It's a little better, I guess, but it's just just the light off. That's all it really did. What's this? Medic? Ooh, let's try this. What kind of FPS am I getting? Is it better? Alright, thanks, Maverick. We can do this, because there's, there's enough light coming off the three screens. But yeah, tonight I'll do... It'll even be darker tonight, because uh, there'll be no ambient light coming from outside. What are we doing here? We have like everything, right? Uh waiting on you, Sergeant! Attention, we are losing objective yeah, dog. Get, oh, man, how is this downward thrust, asshole? These quality. Oh, we have lost objective dog. Bullets! Boss. Oh, Is there someone here? Was! Ha ha! Jermaine, what's going on, buddy? I'm just testing this. Jermaine, how does this sound? I'm gonna kill all of you! We have now taken Give me some help, you idiot! Oh, oh, he did. I knew you were gonna flank! I knew he was gonna do that! That one's for you, Jermaine. Whoa. Give me that! Give me that! Give me! Come on! Give me the health! Shit! We have lost objective Fox. Lost! What is this? Objective oh, lost! Jeez! There's ammunition! Rifle! Right, Ow! Oh, no! I hear they never let you play hardcore in betas. Yeah, there is no hardcore mode. But the, the, the TTK is so fast that I feel like you don't even need it. Did I spell giveaway wrong in the title? No, it's not. Guys, if you're just joining the stream, type in exclamation mark giveaway. I'm giving away some Blu-rays of a movie. Maverick's favorite movie of all time. Oh, shit. There's a lot of guys up there. That goes there. What? No! Oh, I'll take it. Chorus of whack. No, it's not. No, 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 no. Not in this domain. The TTK is really fast. In, in the other battlefields, for sure. Let's try this. What am I doing? 7 and 4? Not bad, not bad. Not bad for having an asshole of a squad leader who won't set any fucking objectives. What is this? Why is there a scope on it? I'll take it. I gotta learn all the controls again. Is it three for health? Nope. Four? Get past up, soldier! Oh, thanks. I'm okay! You can't see shit through the smoke. I guess that's the idea, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone's shooting. Stop it. Give me them points. Give me them points. Informing you that objective dog is now out. Should I get him? Should I get him? I'm coming! Whoa! Do it! No, you idiot! I saw my character trying to stab him. Ow. There! More first aid! Get off me. I can't see. You're dead. Oh, you're dead too. 
Magnolia DVDs. Everyone's fucked. What's happening? How can I make? Oh! Oh! Headshot. What is this? Oh! No! That's oh, a friend. No! Moving on up. Hey, I'm, it, it kept my rank from the last alpha. I'm th uh, level 21. Nice. Oh shit! Thanks, bro. Get me in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Man. So we, we have we're pretty good with that class. We're gonna go back to this though. No, no. Pretty even actually. Their spawn points here, our spawn points here. Wait, are there no more archetypes coming soon? Last time they had archetypes for the uh, support class. I got you. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Nate! What are you doing? Turn around, you idiot! Ow. Dead! Woo! God, this game is good. Jermaine, 100%, man. How can you play, see this game and be like, Oh, I like Black Ops 4. Fuck that game. This is where it's at. Look at this shit. Ah! I don't even need more bullets. Objective easy is now out. All the animations. Yes, there are parachutes in this game, and there is actually uh, one of the modes is the airborne thing. So on grand operations, the attacking team actually is jumping out of airplanes. That's how that's how they do the, the respawn waves. How about that shit, Jermaine? Right now we can't seem to match make. Why would I give a shit if Fortnite is still king? Like, I don't give a fuck what 10 year olds are playing, Maverick. I care what the best game is. Right now, the best competitive shooter, competitive shooter, is Rainbow Six Siege. Um, this game may be the best, like, large scale PvP game. Who knows? Right now, it's like, this is more fun to play than, like, anything else. Right? It's just it's a totally different feeling than Rainbow Six, but it takes. Like, I can't control the leading in this game, but the automated system, it works good, and it's a little more tighter than it is in Insurgency. Insurgency does a pretty good job of it, though, because, like, in this game, if you're behind cover, like, right behind cover, it'll automatically raise your lean. In Insurgency, it'll do that even if you're, like, a few feet back from cover. You don't have to be right against it, so. Uh, it's like saying, League of Legends is popular. You're gonna, you're gonna hate that. I don't give a fuck, dude. League of Legends is not a fun game to play. It's like Fortnite's boring as balls, man. I know it's popular on YouTube because kids love that shit, but that ain't me, man. I appreciate quality. Realism. Tactics. Not fucking numbers popping up in people's heads. But you like what you want, Maverick. You know, there are people like Jermaine here who love Call of Duty. Nope! There's a guy right No. What are you doing? Oh shit. What are you doing? Oh, fucker, get back here. You pick up ammo. I don't care, I'm coming for you, fuck. Where are you going? Shit, Maverick. Moving on up, baby. Whoa. Objective box is ours. It's ours. Objective is ours. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Yes. No! 
Oh, I was trying to get some help. Attention, we are losing objective Fox. Twitch is built on Fortnite? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? That's like saying Twitch was built on PUBG last year. Twitch was built on H1Z1 and League of Legends in 2016. Every year, there's new games that are coming out, right? Maverick, you have a weird thing for Fortnite. Like, you can like it all you want, man. That's fine. Attention. Objective Fox. But there, like, every year there's been a new Battle Royale game that's taken the crown, right? It was H1Z1. Before that, it was DayZ and WarZ. Last year, it was all PUBG. This year, it's all Fortnite. Who knows? Next year, there could, there could be two, three more games coming up. We don't even know about I mean, look how quickly Epic made Fortnite. Well, made the Battle Royale version off of Fortnite. There's so many companies that can do that. That's not to say there's not staples in these genres. Like, World of Warcraft's huge again because of the Basel, uh, Battle for Azeroth expansion, right? We never won on Twitch yesterday. It probably is today as well. That's objective Charlie taken. Oh, I I'm the objective. Okay. Uh... You have to capture the objective. Finally. I'm in command. The way it should be. Twitch also grew because of a million games. Twitch grew because of League of Legends. Like, it grows every year. It hasn't not grown. And every year, there's been a new game in the front. Like, you only live in the present, Maverick. You forget what happened last year, friend. You're forgetting, like, Shroud, Doc, Ninja, all these guys got their crazy massive followings from playing PUBG last year. And those guys have exploded, especially, like, Ninja, obviously, doing Fortnite. And next year there'll be new games and people will explode on that too. I probably should have chosen the sniper. Oh shit. Right! Defend the objective! Hey Maverick, people play um a lot of Counter-Strike on on uh, on Steam. Whoa! Almost fucked that up. See that lean? I love that shit. Wish I can control it though. Move! Capture the objective! Actually, yeah, we should probably get D back. Objective. Well, if they're gonna take our shit. Yeah, do you wanna know like? Cause a bunch of people that haven't played in forever are jumping back in and watching it. Cause like, you know, WoW had like 20, 30, 40, 50 million players over time. bringing in viewers who don't normally watch Twitch because everyone, you know, the, the WoW community is just putting on in the background. But see how quickly that can happen? People love WoW, they come out with a new expansion, fucking like that, number one on Twitch. But it won't last, it'll quit, it's a very short fad. Oh, bad play, bad play. Hey, Jermaine, what did you think of the beta for Call of Duty? Yeah, it has massive balance issues. Some of those, like, operators, like, were really fucking terrible compared to the others. And then, like, some of the guns, like, the... The sniper, the one-shot sniper, is, like, so broken for that game. It's way too OP. And it's still bunny hopping and shit, which you need to get rid of. Like, all these dumb things. Imagine jumping around like this and trying to fight. 
fucking stupid. Capture the objective. Should probably get A back. Even though I'm going this way. Okay, in that case we're gonna go. Yeah, I can't keep running A. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go west. So they changed this. So when you give an objective, like I'm highlighting A, all the ob other objectives disappear. Like it's not showing me F, which is right here. What's up, my boy? Ready to shit on some of these noobs, fail cube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. How do I talk? Yeah. Uh, shit. Be aware that objective Charlie has lost. Stand firm. Defend the bloody objective. Objective Fox. Honest soldiers. Objective taken. Test, test, test. Yo, buddy, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, there we go. What's going on, man? Forward. Capture the objective. Ready. I don't know what this guy's saying. I like some of the new gadgets. Yeah, I like, um, I always thought the wall running was too clunky in Call of Duty. It was way better in Titanfall. Objective Baker. We have taken it. I wonder if we're going to make a Titanfall 3. Because the last one didn't sell well. Oh shit. Guy's coming up. Right here. Ow, 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 ow. Get him! <laughs> Worth it. Oh, you get the hang of it, dude. Were you in the first close off? Huh? Did you play the first close off them? Yeah, I did. It's just I feel like it's really weird to see shit. I go. Ah! Holy fuck. Get. What? Uh, is there no more spotting in this game? There is. It's just very limited. It doesn't it doesn't uh, give you all the Doritos like it used to. To the objective, soldiers. Ooh, I didn't realize I was so far north. Fine work. Objective dog is the objective out. Objective has been won. Yeah, I'm there as well. Hey, live, what's up? You there, buddy? Banana, how's it going? Say hi in chat. Slow cool, what's up? Unless you guys are watching at work. I won't tell anyone. the objective keep pushing friends keep pushing wish I could finish these guys ah tree Maverick what's up buddy what's with the fails 
Was there a notification? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ, dude. The second beta should be showing up battle royale mode. No, the battle royale is coming post launch. I, they won't do beta for that until until it releases, I don't think. By the way, Jermaine, the Blackout Battle Royale for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 launches September 10th. So only a couple of weeks. Less than a month. And since you're already in the beta, you already have access. They're not going to do beta for Battle Royale for this game, because the Battle Royale is not part of the launch lineup. No! Good work. We have taken Objective Fox. Let's go! Capture the objective! Work our way back, since our spawn point is on that side. 60 players. That's the rumor. That's not official. By the way, 60 players is less than the normal mode in this. And even the yeah, that's weird. Uh, which way do I go? Ah, oh, he's behind me. Is that confirmed, Jermaine? 15 four-player squad seems so small. I think that should be like a fucking 30 four-player teams. You guys are complaining about performance in chat. It's supposed to be running amazing for me. Reinforcements available. Oh, 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 oh. How do I do that? Oh, wait. We have time. I want to call in the big rocket. Sorry, I looked sideways to chat for a second. I was gonna say, don't leave. I'm gonna call in this V1 rocket or V V2. What's it called? It's objective Fox. We are losing it. Okay, I'm gonna spawn somewhere else. Help me! Uh oh. Let's go. Capture the objective. I gotta learn when I'm playing this class, you really gotta move through cover. Objective Fox. Objective Fox. Fuck. Could have pulled the pistol off fast enough. It sounds like a shitty excuse, Jermaine. But yeah, the engine doesn't support player counts. That's what it comes down to. They could if they had time, but you gotta remember that battle royale mode, they didn't decide to develop it until like last year, and didn't start on it really until the beginning of this year. That's what the devs told me at the reveal event. So it's like that engine, which we've always have said is super dated, is so dated, they can't even get the player counts up. Even though there's tiny ass maps, there's no destruction, there's invisible walls. Like it's optimized for frame rate, but holy shit, it's so fucking dated. It is light years behind Frostbite engine, the Unreal engine, the Cry, the Cry engine, light years behind. They don't spend any time to actually developing the engine. Just gimmicks. They always add gimmicks, but not not an engine overhaul. And they're stuck because they're always developing this stupid fucking cycle. Let's go. Oh, oh, capture the objective. What should I call this rocket? I have enough. I think. 
I don't know where. There was no marker. Well, they do care now, Maverick. That's why they have a new division to create. Because the, re the reviews are getting bad, sales dipped twice. They're in trouble, and now they're they're like they're struggling to follow other. They're not the leader in anything. They're trying to follow other companies. That's why they dropped the campaign. Oh, is it my rocket? Informing you that objective Charlie has been lost. What the fuck? Did you see that? I didn't even fall. I just kind of teleported. Glitch. I wanted to pull my parachute. Where's my rocket at? Come on. Objective dog is now ours. Oh, I still have my shit. Oh, I can't. Fuck it. I can't afford it. That's been approved, soldier. Oh. Yeah, in trouble. Because uh, the developer bonuses are based on Metacritic scores. The scores sank, interest sinking, their YouTube and viral marketing stuff has sank. Twitch, they dropped off the face of the map. That their esports following and money prizing is sank because there's not interest. So sponsors aren't there. There's less attendance. So yeah, that matters. The brand, even though it's the top, it was the top. It, it's sinking. So that's why they're struggling to do different things. That's why they're they're so fucking desperate. They dropped the campaign and they're trying to follow everybody else's trend and doing a battle royale mode. They're not inventing anything new. They're like, hey, let's make our PVP five v five. Make operators objective based maps and like uh, unique gear to make it more tactical because we want to be more like Overwatch and Rainbow Six without actually being a Rainbow Six and Overwatch, you know what I mean? They're trying to copy everyone else's things to try to be relevant. But they're, not, they're not leading. They're not doing anything new. So I hope the blackout mode is really new because that PvP stuff, it can be fine, but it's the same shit as before. The objective getting fucking wrecked here. Oh no, we're oh shit. We had the lead, but we lost all the points. So close, we have to get these points back. If we get B back, we're okay. And I can get C. Get C, we can do this. Objective Baker has been taken, soldiers. Oh, shit. That's objective A ball taken. Come on, come on, come on. Objective box has been lost, soldiers. 59 to 55. Holy shit, it's gonna be tight. We have four points versus two in a sec. Jermaine, I don't know what you're... I'm not disagreeing with anything you're saying, but if you're saying Call of Duty's doing amazing yes, right now, then I will disagree with you. They're doing great, I guess, but interest is sinking, money is sinking, critical acclaim is sinking, I'm telling you these things because that's why they're in trouble because they're not the most exciting thing anymore. No one fucking cares. Media doesn't even cover all their interviews and, and like review uh, trailers and screenshots anymore. The reaction is just not there. 
dude. You know what I mean? Oh shit! Look, another one. Come on, capture the objective. Comes. Man, everyone's calling this shit. Objective Baker has been lost. No. I mean, they're calling this game Black Ops 4 and it doesn't even have a fucking campaign. It's not even set after Black Ops 3. To get rid of all the wall running bullshit that they're walking back, they have to set it between Black Ops 2 and 3. I mean, it speaks for itself, dude. They're calling it Black Ops 4 just for the branding. It's not even a Black Ops 4 outside of the record. Come on. Damn. Yeah, it's still, it's gonna be huge, Jermaine. It's still like such a massive, massive, massive console game. But it's because it's just a casual console game. So, we are luckily, people play multiplayer Charlie. casually. But we won! Hey, hey! All right, that wins for you, Jermaine. This game's already like this multiplayer is so much more satisfying and interesting and dynamic and advanced compared to what Call of Duty is doing. There's not a single thing Black Ops 4 does better than this in multiplayer. So what's going to come down to is, is that Blackout mode really, really amazing? Do you think it's going to have like death and you're out or is it going to have respawns? Because Call of Duty is all about get in and out, die, respawn, quick, 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 over and over and over again. Like I, I can't see that fast moving formula working for a game where you die like, 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 that, like, like that, right? So we'll see. I know. I know, Jermaine. You should really play uh, Rainbow Six. If you like shooters, Jermaine. But even that, like the pick 10 system is just so fucking antiquated to me. It's just so weird. Why can't I just build the primary I want, build the secondary I want, larger amount of weapons, balanced, you know what I mean? But if, you, if you're gonna do unique operators or have unique abilities, they should have unique guns as well. You shouldn't have five fucking red dot snipers that can one shot you. No, 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 you have a sniper. If you're gonna do a class that can put down wire, a class that has a flamethrower, a class that can do a fucking Spider-Man grappling hook, there should be a single class that has a sniper. That way you have a sniper on each team, not five snipers versus one, and the ones who have more unlocks or can one shot. It's just, it's absurd how unbalanced and weird it is. So, it's like, it's such a short thrill to me. Like I play Call of Duty, it's like, ugh, there's nothing, literally nothing impressive about that Call of Duty. It's fine. It's good that they're taking away shit, but like that's not innovation, right? It's like, here's stuff you've seen before. We took out some of the shit you don't like, and we took out the campaign as well. We may try to copy what Fortnite's doing a little bit, we have now taken but we had nothing new to offer you at all. Like, literally nothing new. Nothing. Not a single fucking new thing. Like, I don't understand. Like, why isn't there something okay, cool? Like, when you play a Black Ops 4 beta, what, what are you looking at being like, that's fucking awesome. I can't wait to do more of that. It's like, nothing. The maps? No. The guns known. Operators, there's nothing impressive about it at all. Whereas this game, you look at it and you're like, holy fucking shit. Did that V1 rocket just hit that base and blow everything up? Are there actually 64 people running around here? And look how big this map is. How does it look so good? How are there weather effects, destruction, and more players than Black Ops 4? And it runs with the same frame rate. How is that? You know what I mean? I don't know. If you love Call of Duty, you love Call of Duty. I'm just so bored in the same fucking shit ever again. It has to be like, this shit needs to push forward. And that's what this game's doing. This game's pushing forward. Rainbow Six is pushing the the, the, the formula you've seen in Counter-Strike and previous tactical shooters forward. You should play Jermaine on PC and get Rainbow Six. If you like shooters, that game will blow your mind. 40 operators, 20 maps, full destruction. When was I a bullet sponge there? I used every single gun I was able to kill. You can two-shot people with the with the fucking DMR thing that or the rifle that the medic has. You can one-shot if you hit him upper or the head with the sniper. You can saw how fast I was killing them with the with the regular AR. Wait, every wait, gun wait, I killed people with. Anyways, I will be um, on later on tonight. I just wanted to test the audio. Hopefully, the audio is okay for you guys. 
Um, don't forget to enter that contest. Jermaine, we're going to teach you about what good shooters really are. Plus the live service in this game, the combined arms, the four-player co-op. Do you like zombies in Call of Duty? Because I'm sick of that shit too. I know there's a huge contingent of fans that like that zombie stuff, but I think that's super dated and boring as well. Um, but the combined arm four-player co-op in this generates objectives and narratives for you. And that progress share is shared with your single player unlocks and your multiplayer stuff. You know how it's objective a battlefield and you have to take it over. And previously you have to keep dying. You can, but I didn't die. I just took C by myself. I stayed alive for a while. And then I stopped guys coming from E. Like you saw my KD. I got like 30 kills, right? Only 15 deaths or something. It's pretty good. Plus, I fucking hate kill streaks or score streaks in Call of Duty. You press a button and it's just an explosion comes down and blows a bunch of shit up. It's like, why can't I control that vehicle up there? Like, I'm actually in the vehicle and the map's like this tiny. It's like, no. And on this game, if you see a plane flying by, that's a fucking player in that plane. If you shoot that fucker down, he can jump out and parachute down and you can shoot him out of the sky. It's a real fucking person. Everything is intentional. It's controlled. It's earned. You know what I mean? Like, that is what fucking first person shooters should be about. If you like the fast paced big things, you know what I mean? If you like intimate shooters, Rainbow Six. You like standard TDM? What about like Control and Hardpoint or, or I actually kind of like, um, is it Search and Destroy? When you, when you die, you're out for the round? I like that. All right. Um, hopefully the lighting's better. Hopefully the sound is sorted out. If I'm going to listen to this afterwards and if I don't like it, uh, for sure, Maverick, you're right. There's, there's a lot of, there's a crazy teamwork in metas with, with, you know, combining characters and heals and stuff like that. Overwatch is interesting because it's taking the shooter formula with, you know, Blizzard's quality and mixing it with, like, a MOBA, essentially, right? MOBA elements, the way you're, like, healing teammates and stuff like that. It's interesting. It's like the new, it's like what, uh, a little bit like what Team Fortress was back in the day. Did you ever play that, Maverick? You're a PC player. Were you, were you into Team Fortress 2? I feel like the games you like now, you would have really liked Team Fortress 2 and all, like, the, all the similar modded games really oh maverick like, i wasn't big into that too but like given that you like overwatch so, so much i think you would have really 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 loved that and it was like so popular for such a long time on steam again i never really got into it but it was uh massive It's room for Tim Horton and Dunkin' Donuts, Rob. Is the room for Tim Hortons and Dunkin' Donuts, Rob? Uh, different countries, man. I do love. I, I I'm not gonna disagree with you there, Maverick. Like I, you know, I, I like affordable coffee at Tim Hortons and stuff like that. But I, nothing beats like baked goods from like a local cafe or bakery. You know, I mean, they make muffins and pastries and shit the right way. Whereas the Tim Hortons, like donuts and muffins and Timbits are just fucking trash. Like they're frozen, just heated in their magic oven thing. They pour that shitty icing all over it. It's like they used to bake that shit in store. Like when I first started working at Tim Hortons, they had this huge setup in the back where they had to make everything fresh. And now it's like you just it's all fucking factory made. You throw it in this thing and you put it in this like icing tray and throw it in the shelf and it sits there all day. It's like, what the fuck? They're not even making it anymore. And their brand is always fresh? Nah. I bought 
for my wife a banana bread last night, and it was like a hard piece of fucking, it was like a hockey puck. I had to throw it in the oven and put butter on it to make it edible. That's right, Jermaine. Maverick's the biggest branded person. All right. I'm about to, I'll be on tonight, guys. We'll try to get Skill Lord and stuff done to get some squads going in Battlefield Five, and then uh, I'll play a little bit regardless. And then after that, who knows? I, it might be only. It might be. It might be new challenge day for Rainbow Six. So maybe a little bit of that. We'll see. If I can get Skill and Commander Weebo on, we can do some ranked. I'm still Gold Four. I mean, I should try to get up a little bit to Gold Three or Two, but I need to practice. I've not played much, but yeah. See you guys tonight. Be on. And enter that contest. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.